Hello everyone and welcome to another IT training video. In this video I'll be making some HTML for a web page and hopefully in another video I'll be making the CSS for it. So before you create a web page you always should lay it out. You should always plan. You don't want to start hacking into code right away and then figure out that oh that's not exactly what you want and then you do a lot of work that wasn't what you wanted to do. So some of my favorite ways to lay out web pages are in Photoshop and Illustrator. In this case I used Photoshop and we're gonna lay out this uh, web page for this uh, fictitious film production company called Lonely Stool Productions. And I don't necessarily know what type of page this is. You can see this is all, all lorem ipsa up here. But we're gonna build this page in HTML and in Dreamweaver. So the first thing you want to do after you lay out your page you want to think about div tags and that's really really important how are you going to group up the elements of your web page so that's easily styled using CSS and so here these are some of my ideas of how we're going to group my web page together I'm just using my rectangular selection tool here to to help um, I think this part here on the left hand side with this this kid in the camera should be a div tag uh, just because it's just a really large element and you can tell that it's physically separated from the right hand side so consequently this right hand side will be another div tag and now inside of this right div tag we kinda wanna split it up into other things so I think a header like a heading tag like up here would be appropriate or actually no since we have these these spaces on either side of this icon I think I'm gonna have one just for the icon then one just for the navigation and then one just for the content. So again, we we're probably gonna th we're probably thinking another one too for the whole thing as a container. So we're thinking of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six div tags. All right, and we're gonna be putting all the stuff that we need f to build this web page into HTML. So let's get to it. All right, so here I am in Dreamweaver, and I'm gonna start uh, doing this HTML. And first of all, I want to start by creating these div tags. So I'm going to put a hard return here. I'm going to insert under my insert tab, do insert div tag. Um, I'm going to make the container div tag and click OK. Now, that's one way you can create a div tag. I actually like to uh, do it by hand, too. So I just showed you that way. Here's another way by, I'm going to delete this filler text here. And by hand, it's just remember the beginning div tag, and you need to give it an ID. So ID equals, and this I'll call it uh, image, <clears throat> and then close it. So either way, either using the uh, the panel on the right or typing it in yourself will work. So let's do another one. So this is the right column. And then I'll do some more of this way here. So this is insert at insertion point, or I can choose like after tag and then choose a tag, right column. Actually, I want it inside of that column, so I'm gonna do after starter tag, and I'll call this icon. And it didn't quite go where I wanted to. This is why we taught you uh, HTML before. So let's cut that, paste it in here. Oops. All right. Then we'll do another one. Call it top nav. We'll do another one. call this uh, content. Alright, so now that I have my div tag structure set up, you can see in design tag, it's, it's all here. I want to start putting in my content. So here we go, in this image, I want to put that image of that nice uh, young man with the camera. So I'm going to go to my images folder, this is where I have all my images. And this one is this weird numbered one. I'm going to put it right there. i am put some alternate text, so I'll write young man with a camera. All right. And then in the right column, div tag, for the icon, I'm going to put in my icon here. So this way, I'm going to do a different way. Instead of clicking and dragging from my files inspector, I'm going to go to insert images. 
And I'm not going to insert a rollover image. I'm going to insert a regular image right there. And look for that icon. So we'll call this And in the top nav, these are going to be rollover buttons. And I didn't show you this before, but you can see here that when you hover over these buttons, they will have that shadow. And basically what this is is just two images stacked on top of each other. And when you hover your mouse over it, it'll swap the image. And in Dreamweaver, that's called a rollover image. So back in my insert menu, I can go insert instead of images. I can do rollover image. And I can choose this. So I'll do the first one is home. And I'll look for the home image. And then the rollover image is going to be the home over. And then the cool thing about this rollover image thing is that it writes all of this JavaScript for you. So you see all this JavaScript it added in the, in the HTML for you? So you don't have to worry about that. All right. And let's, let's kind of look at it, what's, what it's building here. So that looks, looks really good. So we have our, our kid there. Awesome. All right, so let's put in the rest of these. Home out. <clears throat> and then finally, the contact. All right, the last part of the HTML that we need to put in is that content, that uh, lorem ipsum. So I'm just going to go back to my Photoshop file, and I'm going to just copy and paste this text. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, there's a lot of great websites out there that gives you lorem ipsum text. Just type in lorem ipsum. I'm sure you'll find it. And I'm going to actually type this in design view, which is this right-hand side. Um, that way... Uh, it puts in these nice paragraph tags for me. You can see these paragraph tags. All right, and that looks good. So this is basically setting up the HTML for the web page. You can you can tell that it's not exactly how we want it, but all the content that we want is there, and it's in the corrective tags. All right, next time I will show you how to create the CSS for this page. And in the meantime, sign up for more IT training classes, and have a good day. Bye-bye.